Hello, 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 hello. Hello, my friends. Hello, how are you doing? Come on in, come on in. Stop scrolling, stop here. I've got some really good juicy gems for you tonight. Tonight, I'm going to be sharing with you how to overcome fear of what people think so that you can show up and shine online and make showing up feel really easy and really natural as though you're just talking to your best friend. So come on in, come on in. If you haven't already, um, just pop a hello in the comments box. So I know he's here. Just pop a hello or hi, an emoji uh, or a hashtag live uh, and Thank you for being here live. Or if you're watching the replay, just pop a hashtag replay. Great to have you here. So to start off with, I have a question for you. Why did you start your business? If you have a business or if you haven't, why do you want to start a business? Why did you start your business or why do you want to start a business? Just pop it in the comments box here. I would love to hear from you uh, why you've actually started a business or what what was it that prompted you to want to start a business? The three main reasons most people tell me they started their business is number one, they want to make a bigger impact in the world. They actually really want to help more people. They want to make a more meaningful impact in the world. They want to make a difference. They want to help more people with the knowledge that they have, the skills, the experience that they have. The second reason people tell me is they want to have more connection with people. They actually want to widen up their, their circles. They want to have more people in their life that are on the same wavelength, people that can benefit from their, their message. And number three is they want to have more freedom. So whether that's more time flexibility, more fulfillment, to be able to do what it is you love, talk about what you love and help people with the topic that you uh, are really passionate about. So maybe it's one of those three reasons. Maybe it's for more impact, uh, more connection or more freedom. But whatever it is for you, I want you to just drop into that why, why it's important for you. Because we're talking about overcoming fear, right? And fear can be really crippling, really crippling for a lot of people. And we all have fears and they manifest in all different ways. So fear is a very real thing. And without a strong why, it is challenging to overcome a fear, to completely overcome it. So dropping into our why is one of the fastest things we can do to start overcoming any type of fear. Why would someone run into a burning building and grab their partner? Like the reason they would overcome that fear of the fire is probably because of their why, because of how much they love that person. I know that's a pretty extreme, crazy example. I don't even know why that popped into my head. But when it comes to overcoming fear, we want to start with our why. So why is it important? Why is it important for you to get more clients? And obviously to get more clients, we need to consistently show up online, all right? We need to be out there. We need to be sharing our message, sharing our offers, sharing great content and there's a next level for you so I'm, I'm sure you're already doing some form of content whether that's sending out emails maybe you post on social media maybe it's LinkedIn articles writing blogs doing videos whatever it is there's usually a next level for you and what I come across with a lot of people I talk to is they're kind of stuck in one area so they might have been blogging for a while but they haven't been doing video or maybe they're doing video every week, but they haven't got a landing page or they haven't got a way to capture people. Uh, and that is their next fear. So hiding behind our next level, our next step outside our comfort zone is usually a fear. And in this video, I'm gonna break down uh, four common fears and also three ways that I've, I've started to uh, really challenge the fear of what people think online. Because if we're not showing up consistently online, there's usually one big reason why. And there's usually one reason why, and that's fear. So whatever it is, that, that next level for you, it's the root of it of staying in our comfort zone is, is typically fear. So the first way to overcome fear, and please write this down if you're taking notes, the first way to overcome fear, it's great to see you on here, Karen and Trish and few others on here. Um, Lisa, hello. Sarah, hello. Hi, Jenny. Great to see you all on here. Hello, Amy. So nice to have you here. So the first way to overcome fear is this. 
connect deeply with your audience. If you're taking notes, if you've got a pen and paper, uh, take notes, connect deeply with your audience. This is about connecting deeply with the people that you're here to help. The fear of what people think cripples people and it stops them sharing what's authentically on their heart, right? So maybe it's stopping you from authentically showing up and saying, this is actually really what I think and I'm not going to water it down. The problem with fear is that we often think that it's keeping us safe when in fact it's actually keeping us really small. And most people I'd speak to want to step up to their next level. They, they want to they want to go to that next step, but they're not fully connecting with their ideal client because when you do, it's so powerful. At my recent event on Saturday, I did an activity where I got people to close their eyes and really drop into their ideal client's body. And imagine, I talked them through about a five to seven minute uh, imagination where they actually really felt the struggle. They felt the pain and they, they went there. I said, sit in the hole with them, sit there with them and feel what they're feeling right now. Maybe they're confused. Maybe they're frustrated uh, because their husband's not listening to them. Maybe they're so overwhelmed. They've got so much going on. Maybe they're, uh, I was talking to, a lady in the influences in a circle tonight and she works with health work, uh, health professionals and dentists and she was saying they're so on the brink of burnout they're so stressed and they're just getting more and more pressure and so when you can really connect deeply with them what are they struggling with this does something wild in our brain because we think i have the keys i have the keys to unlock that door for them and my fear of not showing up because i'm so scared of what people think what whether people are going to judge me online, whether someone's going to put a nasty comment, that can stop us reaching this person that's sitting at home struggling, suffering, that you actually have the answers for. And this isn't a guilt thing. This isn't to do it out of guilt. This is to inspire you, to, to pull you towards this person that's actually on the other side of your content. And I got so much feedback from that meditation. And in fact, a lot of people said, uh, can you send it to me? And I'm thinking of actually creating an MP3 of it because it was it was just so powerful as an activity to drop yourself in before you create a piece of content to remember that it's not going out to the masses. So if you're interested in that, I, I'm thinking of putting it together. I will need to edit it up and you know use GarageBand and everything. Um, but just just to make sure that it's it's worth it, just pop. Um, just put connection in the comments right now if you're interested in, in receiving that, if I do end up uh, creating that MP3, because I, I do think that it's a powerful way to really stop thinking about what people think that aren't your ideal client and really connect deeply to your ideal client. Like if you want to accelerate your business, if you want to accelerate how fast you build trust, how fast you build your audience if you want to accelerate how fast you get clients we must overcome this fear of what people think of us now there are four main fears that show up for people who aren't consistently showing up online the first one is a fear of failure the second one is a fear of rejection which is what i'm going to dive deep into tonight the third fear is a loss of security and the fourth fear is criticism so most of us have at least one of those fears, failure, rejection, loss of security or criticism. And often people have all four, right? But according to our personality, our character, our situation, whatever's going on, it's usually like one of those four that shows up. So ultimately we try and avoid these things, right? We don't want to, none of us want to fear, feel fear of failure. None of us want to feel loss of security or rejection or criticism right so because we try to avoid these things we often think that we're going to get less of what we want that if I show up on on Facebook live that I might get rejected that if I show up on Facebook live and I stuff up my words I'm going to feel like a failure I'm going to show up and I'm going to get criticized or I'm going to show up I'm not going to feel secure so we avoid things like doing Facebook Lives, like blogging. Maybe we think we're not a great writer. Um, English is our second language. All the, all the things that our brain comes up to that stops us doing it. 
what we're trying to avoid is these things. And if you think of the opposite of these things, like think about, okay, what's the opposite of failure? To me, it's success. What's the opposite of rejection? Acceptance. What's the opposite of loss of security? We're feeling secure. What's the opposite of criticism? Maybe it's praise. Maybe it's it's uh, someone got value out of what it was that you shared. So we think we're going to get less of what we want, but we actually end up getting more. Because ultimately what these four fears sit under is a loss of love, a loss of true human connection. That's what we're craving. We're craving true human connection. And I was saying it on Saturday, you know, 38 people are there. And I was sitting there looking at the Zoom room and the gallery view thinking, my heart is so full. I have so much connection today. This is incredible. And to think that if I'd avoided showing up and doing it, I would have got less connection not more so actually took them through a full activity that I do with my clients well actually we did it more of a mini version of what I do with my clients which is actually go into the fear identify where it's come from get the wisdom from it release it that usually takes about an hour in a session uh, that I do with my clients but we want it to be that when we let go of that we realize that we're actually getting true connection true connection and um if you're feeling disconnected from your ideal client, it's really good to drop back in and think about their pain, think about their confusion, like how you used to be confused, right? Before you found the answers, you found the solution. And going back to that time um, where you were in their shoes, it really does wake up a, a desire uh, and it makes you think, yes, I do want to do it. I do want to show up online, which is awesome. And I'd love you to feel that, um, that as well. So just drop the word connection if you want me to send you that meditation uh, once I make it. So if I get enough responses, I'll edit it up and, and make that available. But I just want you to remember that you're not talking to the masses. You're not. You're talking to one person, one human being who needs your help. And that really helps us overcome fear of rejection but most of the time fear is quite smart like fear comes up with all sorts of stories right so <laughs> the second way to overcome the fear is this so first one is to deeply connect with your audience the second one is this follow a strategy follow a strategy so connecting with your audience might get you over the line and you decide sweet I've been doing blogs but now I'm going to do a video I've been doing emails but now I'm actually going to show up consistently on social media so you decide to go live you decide to do the post you decide to do the email or the video and then another story comes up and it says something like I don't know what to say I don't know how to come across genuinely I don't know how to structure it what if I come across uh, as well, what if no one likes it what needs to be in the post in order to get engagement? And maybe you don't know what call to action to share. Maybe you don't have a clear offer yet or you're not sure how to make your content um, really pop and really stand out online and stop the scroll. Maybe you don't know how to evoke an emotion or shift a belief through your content. Maybe you don't know how to awaken that desire within them that inspires them to actually take a new action. All of these things are what our content needs to do. So that taps into that feeling of rejection and in business there's a lot of fears if you if you've been in business longer than five minutes you know that fear just keeps coming with all its stories so it's one thing to go okay I'm going to completely obliterate that fear there's another thing to go you know what if I can have a structure if I can have a strategy a formula to follow then it starts to shift the fear it starts to shift it and, and gets you taking action and taking and, and moving forward. You might still feel your heart racing. You might still feel uh, that fear, but you show up anyway because you've got the tools. You've got, you've got uh, the, the formula to follow. Formulas help you overcome fear because you just follow it and you know it's going to work. So without good formulas and structures and templates, but when I got those from my mentors and, and experts that I was following, so much of the fear started to vanish. Uh, but when you don't know what you're doing, when you don't know how to structure it, the fear can really run, run the show. Uh, so think about how often have you thought about 
I don't know, doing a Facebook Live video, but you didn't? Or how often have you thought about creating a funnel, but you didn't? It's often the fear saying, no, you're not good at tech. Or what if people laugh at you? What if you get it wrong? What if you waste time? All these fears. Maybe you've ever, you've thought about creating a freebie, but you didn't. And that's because it's hard to work on these fears on our own because fear is not just doing it. It's fear comes when we don't have those strategies. And when you have the strategies, when you have the formula, the fears vanish because you know what to do. Just drop a why for yes in the comments. If anything that I'm saying is making sense, is this making sense? The fears don't go away on your own. You know, if you, if you don't overcome these fears, your business is going to stay stuck and stay small. And so many people are trying to do it without these things. And it's, it's almost impossible. I'm a big believer in mindset work, big believer. I do mindset work on myself all the time with coaches. I do mindset work with my clients. In fact, some of my clients who are earning seven figures a year or more, they mostly do mindset work with me because fear is the thing stopping them from getting to that next level of their result. What caps a lot of people around that six figure mark is fear of hiring team. So I often work with people around the mindset of whatever it is their next level is. But one of the fastest ways to overcome fear is with a formula. So as much as I love the mindset work, for me, as soon as I had formulas and templates and structures, it helped me just keep going and being consistent despite feeling the fear. Because it's not, it's not necessarily about getting rid of the fear so you never feel it again. I hope you're getting that right. Because if you keep pushing your comfort level and getting out of your comfort zone, you probably will keep experiencing that next level of fear, but you can reframe it. You can reframe it to expansion to growth and saying okay I acknowledge that you're there fear but I'm going to show up anyway it can be as simple as having a template to follow I like to say you overcome fear with a formula number three if you're taking notes number three is to have a mentor if you want to accelerate your business you need someone outside of you to help you through it Without my mentors, I never would have been able to overcome the crippling fear that I had about showing up live. I remember when I did my first webinar, I had so much fear. It was in 2016 and I had two coaching sessions with a guy who judged a lot, but I had to work through every step. Before I did Facebook Lives, I put it off and put it off and put it off and then I got coaching on it. I had a lot of coaching sessions to be able to do what I do now. I've had a lot of coaching sessions and I've got a lot more coaching sessions to go to get to my next level. I'm always going to have a mentor because every successful person does. Whatever you want to do next, it's, it's so challenging that you're going to be able to do it without a mentor, without support. It's so hard to get to our next level on our own. Who would agree with me? Just pop a wife a yes if, you, if a mentor has helped you to overcome fear. And maybe, maybe that connecting with your audience is the thing that's going to do it for you. Maybe it's having a formula, having a structure uh, or a template that's going to do it for you. Maybe it's a mentor. Those are three things that have helped me to overcome my fear of showing up online consistently. I know there's a lot of strategies that you can use to overcome fear, but I would just love to ask you, what, what's next for you? Because there's, there's only so much you can do to overcome fear from just watching a video. And you can hear this and it can make sense, but knowing it is different to actually applying it. So I'd love to share with you my formula and show you how to use it in, in your business in a way that will accelerate you and bring you in your ideal quality clients consistently. I know most of you want that because that's why you're here. And at my recent event, I opened the doors to the final round for the year of the Client Attraction Accelerator Program, which is a 12-week program that I run for business owners who want to grow a profitable business that makes a meaningful impact um, doing what you love. And so you need a strategy for that. So if you'd like to have a chat about it, if you want to hear a little bit more about it, uh, I'm opening up spaces in my calendar. <laughs> I have 
people have been saying, Kate, your calendar is so full. I can't get into the end of October. So I, I do have a very tight calendar at the moment, but I am prioritizing opening up some 15 minute chats with people. Uh, if you missed coming to the event for whatever reason, you couldn't come on Saturday and you, you weren't able to hear me share about the accelerator and you want to find out about it. Also, if you want some of the highlights now, obviously it was a, a really big day. It was like eight hours. So most likely you're not going to sit through a replay of eight hours. Plus the, the highlights replay is available for people that upgraded to VIP. So if you do want to get the VIP um, bundle, which also has a mastermind session with me in it, it has a whole lot of client tr attraction resources and uh, training videos in it so that you can absorb those in your own time. Uh, actually, just, just drop the word uh, accelerate in the comments now, whether you're live or on the replay, just pop the word accelerate. If you want to have a chat with me or if you want to hear about the VIP bundle so that you can get that, that replay, uh, and I'll just private message you and uh, we can touch base and just have a chat about it. A big reason why a lot of people jump at this opportunity to accelerate is in terms of time freedom. They want to be more leveraged. They want to make more money and they also just want to make a real difference. But they want a lifestyle with it, right? They want to feel free to enjoy life and not be chained to their, their laptop all the time. So if you want support, if you know it's time for you to have someone supporting you all the way in your corner, joining the dots, um, making a bigger difference, helping more people, uh, then I would love to, I'd love to have a chat with you and find out if that's something that I can help you with. Um, when you have expert support and guidance, you stop wasting time, you stop letting fear hold you back and, and you finally see your business taking off. Um, and I'd love to be there for you every step of the way and pour in as much support as I can to help you succeed. And, you know, the reality is it costs so much more if you don't have the help, you know, it costs you in terms of time, in terms of money, in terms of trying to figure it out. So just drop the word accelerator in, or accelerate in the comments box and I'll get in touch and we'll just have a chat about it. So it's great to have you here tonight. Just pop in the comments, what was your favorite, your favorite thing tonight? What resonated with you? What stood out? What made sense? What was your favorite thing of tonight? Just drop that in the comments now. I'd love to hear so I know what to share with you. It's always great to hear from you um, what, what resonates and, and what's helpful. So hopefully that was helpful. Just again, drop a, a hashtag replay if you're watching this uh, as a replay. And those of you who are live, thank you so much for being here. So great to have you here. Hi, Elizabeth. Great to have you here. Uh, hi, Catherine. So nice to have you all here. Hi, Sandy. And if you missed the beginning, just jump back on to the replay. So take care, my friends, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.